It's Tuesday, April 8th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. Today we're on the National Mall. How about that? We're only two weeks away from the big Pennsylvania primary, the latest must-win contest for Hillary Clinton. Now a poll from the American Research Group, posted on Talking Points Memo, linked from FARC.com, and now finally regurgitated on this program, shows the race in the Keystone State is now tied at 45%. Now, before you're tempted to think that it's gone, baby, gone, her lead is gone away, the Real Clear Politics average poll still shows Clinton leading by an average of six percentage points. But that's still a large gain for Obama in recent weeks, so it's more like no more speed, he's almost there. Gotta keep cool now, gotta take care. Last car to pass, here he goes. Next, the ties of the Hillary Clinton campaign to the Colombian government don't end with her now former chief strategist, Mark Penn. The Glover Park Group, which formerly employed Clinton spokesman Howard Wolfson, also has a contract with Colombia to promote the controversial free trade agreement. That Hillary Clinton is against. Wolfson and his wife still have an equity interest in the firm, which currently employs a former White House press secretary and a former senior communication advisor to President Bill Clinton. Now, interestingly, the Bush administration has used fast-track rules to force Congress to act on the Colombian free trade agreement within 90 days, and I think Hillary Clinton should see this as an opportunity. If the agreement fails in Congress, she gets her policy wish. If it passes, that means she's connected to a great team of people who know how to get things done, even over her own objections. She can't lose! Or maybe she can't win. Finally, remember on Friday when I showed you the Olympic theme music at the end of Hillary Clinton's 3 a.m. telephone ad? Time for a president who's ready. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. Well, now Hillary Clinton is sending out a less vague and less subliminal Olympic message. She's calling for President Bush to boycott the Beijing opening ceremonies, to protest China's crackdown in Tibet, and its failure, failure to use its leverage with Sudan to stop the genocide in Darfur. Yeah, if only there were some other superpower with the ability to do something about the atrocities in Darfur. But the question is, the bigger question is, if China is so bad, why not just boycott the entire Olympics? The U.S. boycotted the 1980 Moscow Olympics to protest the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979, and China's been in Tibet for almost 60 years! Oh wait, I forgot. Back in 1980, Russia wasn't keeping our economy alive by supplying the nation's Walmarts with plastic consumer products and toys, which, as long as they're not covered in lead paint, are fun for the whole family. Also back in 1980, people actually, you know, cared about and watched the Olympics. Now pretty much they just TiVo lost and call it a day. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash nothing for more stories. And don't worry, when you get lonely and you're sure you've had enough, let us send you comfort coming in from above right here on Kotecki TV.